we are on the verge of a, a fourth industrial revolution. So technologists and economists say that there have already been three industrial revolutions. So uh, the first one was basically driven by the harnessing of steam power. The second one was largely driven by electricity and the harnessing of it. And the third industrial revolution was more or less driven by computers. The fourth industrial revolution that is upon us now uh, is going to be characterized by the convergence of information technology, or IT, and operational technology, or OT. Most people are familiar with IT, uh, and it brings to mind you know, people interacting with business applications uh, to conduct their business processes. Operational technology, or OT, is the equipment and processes we put on the factory floor. So it's anywhere from a the electronic widget, like a, an electronic wrench or otherwise that we can get data from, all the way to major, large robotic systems. Historically, there's been a big divide between IT and OT, and, and the two domains didn't talk much. I think a good example of that is if you look at our wing assembly operation, for example, right now, the technician has to go and get all the fasteners or collect all the fasteners that he needs. He sorts, cleans, promotes, and installs that hardware, and of course that's inefficient. The reality is that that digital thread is broken, and that is tied together by a swivel chair kind of uh, terminology we use where the human being is taking data from one system and transferring it into another system. What we're seeing is that the convergence of IT and OT is, is really accelerating, and uh, we're bridging that gap to have our devices on the shop floor talk to our business systems. We're putting the digital hooks in place to connect to this overarching infrastructure or next-end uh, manufacturing execution system, which is really our version or our contribution to the Industry 4.0 initiative. So in our future state vision, the operator on the shop floor will interface with one system and any other uh, systems, whether IT or OT, that come into play uh, will all be integrated into the one system that the operator uh, interfaces to. So the whole process begins with a model-based definition with uh, semantic or machine-readable, PMI, product and manufacturing information. That model-based definition or MBD is used to uh, create the NC program for the wing auto drill. So during an operation, we have sensors that can sense the depth of uh, each hole that we drill. That completes the total information needed to know the hardware that goes in that hole or that fastener. Presently, that's done by hand. In our envisioned future state, that would be done automatically. The hole depth at each individual location would be recorded and transmitted back to the digital twin in the product lifecycle management or PLM system and inserted into the point table in that model-based definition. And then that serves as the basis for uh, generating a pick list in the ERP, or Enterprise Resource Planning System. We collect that entire wing's worth of data, send it down to a new system called FastPacks, or the Fastener Preparation and Kitting System, that then collects, sorts, cleans, promotes, uh, and kits all of that hardware and then next shift delivers it to the line at the point of use just in time. That same detailed information about the material stack up at each individual hole is also used for the optical projection tape. Uh, we use optical projectors already on the shop floor to project onto the product uh, instructions for the operator to know uh, where to place uh, different fasteners in each hole. The optical projection system is now using the same digital data that projects in real time, just like you would in a conference room or otherwise, um, to scale all of that hardware and the locations that all those fasteners go. At that point, the uh, technician simply follows its, the, the digital instructions. We know the time of day, we know the, the people that are working on it, and so we have a total digital connectivity that really ties it all together. And in doing so, we increase our efficiency, lowering the, the hours per unit produced. Uh, we also increase our transactional quality, fewer uh, data input errors and transcription errors, uh, and we increase job satisfaction. It'll go a big way and make manufacturing processes more affordable. 
and that's an integral part of our plan. This is an industry-wide trend uh, across all industries as well, not just uh, aerospace and defense. Our major initiative is try to uh, enable people to do what they do best and be able to uh, automate those mundane, repetitive uh, type processes that really soak their energy and, and make us less efficient. What we're engaged in right now in terms of uh, better integrating our IT systems like ERP, PLM, and MES, as well as uh, fleshing out our industrial Internet of Things architecture and then converging IT and OT is really exciting.